Hello, hello, hello. Hey, what's up, everybody? Today is a big day. We've been waiting for this day for a long time, probably about four months now. Four months. We are going to be stocking my my, my, my lake, my private lake over here, with I don't know how many fish, like 15,000 or so. Somewhere roughly in there. They're inside this giant, well, pull up to the gate right now, actually. So the big thing here is I wanted to put bait fish in. So what are we, a month we in? We're going into October. I wanted to get bait fish in here prior to putting any kind of bass in here um, i've got 45 pounders on order right now that won't be here till spring but i got these bait fish that are going to be in here and these things they do reproduce about four times a year my idea is maybe i can get one cycle maybe two before i start really dumping some bass in here kind of get that uh population way up i think he's gonna want me to drive on by go ahead and do that i'm also going to make the assumption that he's just going to stick some tubes or something on maybe the back of this truck and they're just going to literally just poop out some fish I, I have no idea i'm gonna let the guy kind of explain it he may not want to be on camera because well some people don't like to be on camera and i don't blame him sometimes i don't want to be on camera okay so we have eight thousand damn i forgot what he said eight thousand to one 200 pounds 200 pounds i forgot i'll ask him here in a second but i said it's really forgot it's like twelve thousand fish or something like that Okay, so we got 8,000 copper nose, 200 pounds of shiners, and 200 pounds of fat heads. It's gonna be your copper nose. You can come out. Oh, jeez. There's 200 pounds of these, you said? No, there's uh, 8,000. Oh, there's 8,000 of these? Yeah. Oh, jeez. 4,000 in here and 4,000 in this one. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. There's a few hybrids in there mixed in with them, too. And that's those. This is a fathead menace. There's a hundred pounds here. Those are the ones that reach this four times a year. Okay. How much bigger those things get? They only what? get about four inches long. Really? Okay. A bunch of shiners I've got over there. They'll get up to 10, 12 inches long. Okay, this is gonna be shiners here. Dude, I don't think I've ever seen a golden. These are golden shiners, right? Yeah. I've never seen a golden shiner in my life. Okay. <laughs> the ones I've seen are usually like the size of my hand. Yeah. How long does it take for those things to grow that big? They don't take long. Yeah. Are you just going to hook a tube in and just kind of yeah. poop them out in the yeah. lake? Okay. Yeah. This is good cold pond water that they're in come out yeah. of my pond. Pretty much for what he just told me, he's going to stick a tube on the side of this thing and just kind of poop them out in the water. He was telling me we might actually want to do this again come, come spring put another big thing in there because he's only saying that one of these the fat heads are the only ones that might spawn one time prior to spring the shiners the shot what do he say gosh now i'm getting all jacked up no the copper nose might spawn the shiners and the fat heads won't spawn they only spawn once a year that's what it was now i'm getting all mixed up i know for a fact the shiners only spawn once a year the copper nose might spawn four times a year or the fat heads might spawn four times a year anyway i probably should i should probably figure that out shouldn't i but he was saying we got to load this thing down we ain't gonna have enough we don't want to have we can't have too much too much bait fish and i 100 percent agree with that just for everybody is wondering we are still not we are about like three quarters of the way we're up to where we need to be pretty much where he's about to be right right about here is where the water line is going to be if you think about it, it's got to still go up all this so that ain't a big deal we're still probably 20 we're gonna say 15 17 foot deep out there in the middle right now you're good it's pretty solid, yeah. Yeah, you're good. Well, it looks pretty solid to me. How long do you own this place? Uh, I bought this place in December, and I started construction in January. Are you going to move up here or what? Yeah, I'm going to build a house once the lake's completely filled up and ready to go. Because I, I, I mean, this is, over here is the spillway. I'm just kind of... Just kind of waiting to see. Okay, so I have it jacked up. So copper nose, uh, fat heads, shiners. shiners. 200 pounds of copper nose. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, 200 pounds of copper nose. Are those the ones that spawn four times a year? 8,000 8, 8, head of copper nose. 8,000 head of copper nose. Yes. Okay. Okay. 200 pounds of fat heads. 200 pounds of fat heads. They reproduce four times a year. Those are the ones that are four times a year. All yeah. right. And okay. then you got 200 pounds of shiners. 200 pounds of shiners. Those are the ones that I really care about, too. Yeah. Oh my.
Those fish are probably so damn confused right now. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, well, let me just help you out there a little bit. Seriously, imagine how confused these fish are. Roll around all day and then get shoved through a tube. <laughs> Here's a question. So, if you how many you said 200 pounds of shiner? Mm -hmm. How many how many shiners will a shiner make? I mean, what? How, how many shiners will will reproduce off one shiner? You think? So if you put how many is in the 200 pounds, you think? On this size here, this particular size, yeah. here, you're looking at about uh, six to seven dozen to a pound. Okay, six so to seven dozen. Like six dozen to a pound. Okay. Okay. Wow. You six got dozen. Pounds, so, so what? Uh, so that's. Six dozen is what? Uh, uh, 72. 72. 72 times 200. 72 times 200. Fourteen thousand four hundred. Oh my God! I didn't realize there was that many. So how many? How many of the other ones in? So we have four. Five fat heads. heads. You probably got about on that size there. Probably about uh, close to eight dozen per pound. Okay. So we have four, fourteen thousand shiners. Eight times. The, the thing about bait fish on, on minnows. It's not about the. It's twenty thousand. It's not about the quantity. It's, it's about the pounds. Okay. Okay. And, and when you're considering minnows. Yeah. Yeah. No. Sh so we got twenty thousand, thirty-five thousand, forty-three thousand. That sounds right. Forty-three. Holy! I didn't realize it was that many fish. I'm not. I, I don't know whether the uh, the Florida strain does better or not. I really don't know. Uh, but I do know this. Our growing season is not as long as it is in Florida. Yeah. Okay. So I've had some people say, hey, yeah, you know, they do get bigger and everything. I don't know. I I, I don't, I just don't know, you know. Talking about the hybrids? Had, no, I'm talking about the Florida strains. The Florida strains. And, and now, one thing I do know is, is that, that uh, they told me that uh, the Floridas are not near as of aggressive fish as a northern yeah. bass and, and they're just harder to catch, you know. Yeah. They, they don't bite near as good. Here's some more shiners. Oh, that's true. Trying to get orientated. <laughs> They're so confused. I mean, imagine riding around on the bed of a truck and all of a sudden getting shot out of pipe. Yeah. No, that's good. <laughs> that's good. I don't want any. I hope there's no bass in here right now. I just wasted a bunch of money. Did you drain this completely? I mean, when I mean drained, really? it was bone dry. Yeah, we waited two weeks to even start on the dam after we punched the hole in it. All right, well, we just put uh, 40, well, roughly 45,000 bait fish in here. I'm gonna do it again in the spring. So by the time this is said and done, we'll probably have 90 to 100,000 fish that were put in here uh, before we really go hard on the bass. My, my goal is to really kind of open this thing up next fall for you guys. I wanna do it right, cause I wanna build a giant, like a legit giant bass factory. Uh, you guys remember when uh, Loja was here the other day? Uh, well, it was probably about a month ago or so. This is where we put in those things. That's Lojo's way over there. That little uh, spiky ball, that one's that one's Lojo's right there, and then these are some other ones. But I built those a while back, and we're going to go look at those here in a second. I might have to move those down, I don't know, but look, those other PVC ones are underwater, that's pretty cool. And then right on this backside, if you guys don't know this, Nelk, uh, they blew up that car. Right, so if you guys ever come here and fish, uh, which it will be at some point open for you guys to come 
book a trip out here, but right there, that tree, you're gonna see by the dam. If you come to the left of the tree right there, there's a, there's a car underwater right there. Now there's, it's literally underwater. But uh, yeah, remember this island came out all the way out here? There's a little gap there. It's just, this is looking pretty good. I'm liking it. I'm liking it just a tad bit. Look at the back side of the dam. We don't have a leak either. Remember when I was talking to you guys about maybe we might have a leak in this, the dam and whatnot. It's definitely not a leak. It's just uh, it's a spring. The dye came through very clean. I mean, I mean the dye never came through, excuse me, and the water's been clean the entire time, so it's good. But the back side of the dam has grass on it now, which is great. The top's kind of mediocre at best and the front side's good. We really care about all that having grass because right here is actually Mother Earth. This is this ain't really a dam right here, so that's not a dam. Just like it kind of looks like a dam, but it's a natural dam, but this is all Mother Earth right here. There's the update. Update on the lake. Big bass factory is getting made. All right. Oh God, freaking mosquito! What is going on? Hey, I know you guys want to see a little bit of fishing action. I know you've seen read some of the comments. So you know what? We're gonna hit you with a little bit of fishing action at the end of this video. So the other day I caught one. I'm gonna say I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I thought maybe it was eight or nine. I'm gonna say it's between nine and ten plus all day. We didn't have a, we didn't have a scale. We don't have a scale today. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna start off with a buzz bait. You guys do know Carl's is a is a very big sponsor of this channel. If you guys do not know, you guys can save 30% by clicking the link at the top of the bio. They're also gonna be the only place where you can get the new Guggen Squad rods. I caught that fish the other day on the 7.5 um, Heavy Extra Fast. This is the Gold Series rod. I love this thing. You guys can get these things on the site. You can pre-order them. They sold out right out the gate, but now they're back in stock. Uh, come November or so. God, I just got chewed up by a mosquito on the back of my leg. That sucks. But I got the old Guggen buzz bait right here. This is what we're gonna be throwing here for a little bit. At the end of the day, madness. I mean, it was power hour. We got thing of Tito's. We got some dang mosquitoes. Tito's and mosquitoes is what the title of this thing is. Tito's and mosquitoes. Gotta go shut the door of this truck. All right, quick update. The memory card on that thing is, is not working. So we're just gonna throw this camera up and just roll like old school type. We're just gonna throw this thing up right there. Like, look at this. Right, old school. This is like, uh, what do we call this? No f***ing giving, because we don't, we don't have any. We're just gonna, we send it. Oh, f***ing first cast. <laughs> oh my God, are you kidding me? <laughs> he came out of the water for that thing. <laughs> oh my God, are you fucking kidding me? Oh. Oh, what is up, babe? What's up, buddy? <laughs> hey, first cast. Came out of the water for a buzz bait. I love it. That's funny. <laughs> oh, my God. I got a friend with me right now. I'll tell you what. They've been throwing a... It's been just struggling. Absolutely struggling right now. <sighs> Look at that. I love green fish. Love you, green fish. the calls are some Tito's. Mosquitoes and Tito's, mosquitoes and Tito's. Apparently. Oh, I wasn't even recording, of course. <laughs> I wasn't recording, I caught, I caught one, don't tell me. I got one, look at uh, this. Look at this. Uh, I got a fish, I'll tell you. Hey, good. got a little bit That's of. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Toby's got better fish inside this little pond than he even knows what to do with. <laughs> look at that thing, a little belly on that thing. Love it. Tito's and mosquitoes kind of out, you know what I mean? Tito's and mosquitoes. Oh, they're all on my head. I put 45,000 fish in my, my lake today. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, uh, you want you want to learn how to use this? I want to do a little teaching, teaching session? Come on, this will be fun. Okay, so I only have two rods with me today. I actually have one of the finesse rods. This right here is a seven foot medium fast spinning rod, but I got braid on it. So I'm going to actually uh, take off. I caught that giant yesterday on this, but I'm going to go with something super goofy. Something super goofy here. This is a smuggler. Toby just brought this out. It's probably one of the dumbest looking baits I've ever seen. We're gonna throw this for a little bit. When I mean a little bit, I mean a little bit. Uh, poquito, uh, uh, how do you say a little bit? Un poquito, yeah, un poquito. Un, I almost said poquito mas, but that's a little more. That doesn't make any sense. Also, I don't really personally recommend using this for what I'm doing. I have 20 pound Guggen braid on there. Uh, I don't really think this is the smartest choice, but I'm just working with what I got. I got two rods out here today, so. Paquito! All right, what we got going? What are we working with here? Oh, no! Is he still on? No! No! <laughs> hey, it's your first one on a baitcaster. Look at you doing big things in your life. I've got, I've got a, 
I've got a friend over here. Just caught her uh, first first fish on a bait caster. Son of a. Bitch. You want to be seen on camera, or are we going to keep you behind scenes right now? Can we blur her face? Let's blur. Hey, let's go ahead and uh, hit her with a blur. Yes. All right. There you go. Blurred out face. Damn it. Okay. Well, I lost. Okay. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna throw, uh, throw it out there. Oh, that was a pretty good release. That was a good release. Good job. You're hitting you're hitting the tour real soon there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know what? I think it's lunker log time. Okay. Since I only have a finesse rod in this goofy, ass, you know, we're gonna cut that thing off right there. I'm gonna retie on a little three aught hammer hook real quick. Three aught hammer hook. Grab a, I think I got green pumpkin blue fleck, which is like my favorite color. And tie this thing with a, God, I always forget this knot's name and I tie it every single day. And well, every single time I'm fishing at least. Ah, oh, God, what the f name is this thing? I tie, this is the only knot I really tie. And I never remember the name of it. Never remember the name of it. Don't know why. You guys aren't enjoying life. You guys need to really, just contemplate what you're doing. I've, I've been, I'm enjoying myself so much right now. You guys can't tell? All right, here we go. I'm not gonna say it, but I'm actually starting to get back into a little bit of fishing spirit. Not gonna lie. I've been out of the fishing spirit for months and now I'm feeling, feeling feisty. Oh my God, I got a fish on! I got your Tito's, I got a fish. Oh my, oh he's out of the water. Come here, you gotta grab this thing. I got Tito's all up in my, Resticle. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, I got I got something bite me in the back. Oh, it is chasing after your buzz bait. Oh my god. I got a face full of grass in that. Look at that. The lunker log strikes again, folks. A little bit of Tito's hanging off. I'm telling you guys, if you're not enjoying life, you need to go outside and do something. Having a fun time out here today. It's good. I mean, we're getting into the fall fishing. Fall fishing. If you want to save 30% of your tag, like I said, go to the top of the description, click that link, go to Carl's. Get yourself one of these new golden, the gold, the gold rods. I like them. Tito's and mosquitoes. Should be a f***ing song. Well, I was, I was originally going to end this video, but you guys you know what? I, I want to catch one more because yesterday, I mean, we caught a f***ing toad yesterday right here. Don't want to buzz bait. It's hard, it's hard to stop. The only thing that really is killing the vibe right now is the uh, mosquitoes that are like trying to take off with my body. Like, you, you hear that? You guys can't hear that it's in my ear. Look at them, look at them, look at them. Oh! That's what I'm saying, imagine we had that on camera. Ah! Okay. We didn't need that one on camera. Oh, hey, guess what? How? Oh. How was he not on? He was totally on. Well, I'm not gonna say it was user error. Okay, so you guys are probably wondering where Cam's at. Cam's actually, right now, Cam's wife might be getting induced. I don't really know, but he didn't come today because he's gonna be having a child, the second one. So let's go ahead and wish Cam and his wife, Shay, uh, congrats on their new child, bringing a new nice, pretty baby into this world. I'm sure it's gonna be a beautiful little boy. Um, Ah, babies. Great. They're just great little creatures. Uh, but hey, I hope you guys did enjoy this video over here on Lunkers TV. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I'll catch you guys on another episode. we got some elk series coming. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this today. Uh, I mean, it was, it was fun. We're, we're out here. We're, it's, we're getting back in a little bit of fishing season. And we got hunting season coming up. You guys know the deal. I love you guys. Let's go ahead and roll that sweet, sucky, the mother f***ing out your mouth, y'all.